Hey folks, I'm Chris Thornton, and since I'm going to be doing some cooking tutorials as part of this channel, I thought it made sense to start with the most basic one, and that is boiling an egg. There are a few possible errors which you could make, uh, but it's quick and easy to avoid them. Let me show you how. In order to boil an egg, you're going to need a small saucepan, you're going to need your egg of course, you're going to need something to lower the egg into the boiling water and take it out of the boiling water. A pair of tongs like this is ideal, or a slotted spoon would be fine, but you could use any spoon really. You're going to need some table salt, we'll get to why that is in a second, and you're going to need to have boiled the kettle full of hot water. This is important in just a second as well. Uh, your egg ideally ought to be at room temperature. Leave it out for a little while to make sure that it reaches room temperature, otherwise you run the risk of the shell cracking due to the thermal shock as you lower it into the hot water. Um, for the same reason, that's why you've got the table salt, and you just need to add a small amount of this. Uh, you could also use vinegar for this as well, that's what some people use, just a little bit into the water, so that if the shell does crack, and it sometimes does, that stops the white of the egg blooming out into the water. You want all the white of the egg to be contained inside your egg. One final thing which you're going to need is some sort of timer. I'm going to use a stopwatch uh, on this phone. Let's see, and I'm going to set it. The amount of time that you're going to want to boil your egg for is going to vary, depending on how well you want the egg done. At a minimum, for the runniest eggs, it needs to be about four minutes. Up to sort of medium boiled, I'm going to do this for six minutes. And then if you're wanting the, your eggs to be really quite hard boiled and you don't want the yolk to be runny at all, then you need to leave them in there for 10 minutes or more. But six minutes should be fine to get the, the white of the egg quite firm, but the yolk still partly runny. So I'll leave that there for now. What I'm going to do is turn on the heat and tip a load of water from my kettle already in there. You're going to need this a few centimetres deep so that it's deep enough to cover your egg. And you're going to need to turn it up to a reasonably high heat because you want to bring this water to the boil. That's why it's better to use water from the kettle because it speeds the whole process up and this is all about making things as quick and easy as possible. Now that our water is approaching boiling point, it's time to put the egg in. So, gently lower it into the water. You want to leave it resting on the bottom it should sink right to the bottom. If it doesn't, then it is not a fresh egg. It's only eggs that have gone off which will float. And let's start our timer. Okay, time's up. So it's time to turn off the heat and remove your egg from the water. Now you need to put this in an egg cup. You could use one of these, but if you don't have an egg cup, if you're not quite so domestically inclined, then you could also use a shot glass. A shot glass will also work uh, as an egg cup quite well as well. If you've taken care with your timings, you should now have eggs ready for dipping some soldiers into, Mm. And the key thing, remember, is for very uh, runny eggs, very soft eggs, you need to give them about four minutes. Six minutes will get you medium well done eggs like mine here, and then up to ten minutes if you want them to not be runny at all. But me, I quite like them to have a runny yolk. I hope that this video was useful to you and that your boiled eggs were as tasty as mine were. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment or a like below, or check out one of my other videos here or here, or click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching.